I was probably 12 when I was raped. When you grow up in a community like I live in, not something that I felt comfortable telling anyone because I felt like it was my fault, so uh, I kept it quiet and I didn't tell anyone for a long time. Rape is one of those things that makes you feel helpless, like you can't do anything to, to make it better. I was so tired of feeling like it was my fault, so I told someone. When I told someone, I felt like I took a little piece of myself back. I did a lot of first female ever in boxing, and I'm super happy and proud to say I was the first female to fight in over 25 years on national television. They can't just prepare for a fight. They have to literally drive state to state, selling tickets, pushing their sport, spending all of their time trying to keep food on the table. And that's not all. Both fighters fight with the demons of sex abuse as young girls. I started going through my career and seeing so many people who would look up to me. I thought about the other little girls who were raped, the other little girls who never met their parents. And I thought, whenever something bad happens, you can go one of two ways. You can use it as a fuel to ignite this incredible, you know, passion that you have towards something good, or you can use it as an excuse not to do anything. Going into the bounce, Hardy, 17 or no. I want you to watch this girl I'll continue fighting. All right? And they went the distance tonight in Brooklyn. And still undefeated, Heather the Heat Hardy. As you can feel her tears, it's very emotional time. But Heather Hardy, as she's fought with so much on her heart, so much on her back. My great grandmother used to always say, God makes the back to fit the burden. And I don't know that there's ever been a struggle that I've had to face in my life where I haven't told myself, God makes the back to fit the burden. I can handle this because God wouldn't have given it to me if I couldn't. And it gets me through everything I do.